Whoa, Devastator's pack. Oh my gosh. This this is so broken. I feel like the chances of getting a wolf at level 3 is pretty high. It makes me wonder if they increase the chances of getting a bear at level 4. No, no, no. We want a bear. Hey guys, I'm here in the open beta and we're going to open some caches. We're going to keep looking to make sure uh, that there's no other potions that, you know, we missed out of the three that I covered in that other video. And, uh, and we're just kind of still exploring that update, looking for hidden changes. Uh, we'll go ahead and go in here. And we're just going to see uh, what we can find. We're just trying to find more and more of those potions. We're also trying to get an uh, awareness of how often a potion is going to be in one of these silver caches. It looks like it's a guaranteed chance of getting one in the gold. Maybe even you can get two in the gold. And so maybe this is zero to one and that's one to two. I don't know. Here we go. This is a hunter elixir, a survival elixir again. All right, we're going into the gold treasure, royal treasury now. Uh, you can see that I've got a lot of horses that I'm going to be running some tests on. We're going it, to, it's clear that there is a new way of breeding horses. I know I've already done two videos on how to breed horses. And uh, this will be, I guess, a third one uh, as I'm exploring this update again. It's crazy. I'm so glad I didn't make a how to breed horses video on the main channel because, okay, here's this, the, the warrior's elixir again. I love the warrior's elixir and we got two of them. Okay. And so while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and open this cache, but I already know that there is no, there's no chance of getting a potion there. At least that's what the dev notes said that there's no chance of getting uh, dev notes or that there's no chance of getting a potion in this cache. Okay, sure enough, um, no, nothing that we were wanting. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these elixirs right here. Uh, hopefully we can get the last elixir as well so that we can have all three of them for the Hidden Changes video. A lot of, you know, these, these episodes, I'm still trying to figure things out. I'm trying to help you guys out, but the main purpose is also just to find all of the little changes. I always make these little tweaks here and there. And the only way to find them is to play the game a lot. Okay, so one of the changes that they had, um, ooh, add slots. Oh, interesting. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so we're gonna hit add all. Just gonna keep doing this. Now, some of you who didn't watch the other video will notice right away that they made it so easy just to put in four horses and keep it going. And that's that's really nice. Whoa, Devastator's pack. Oh my gosh. This, this is so broken. Look at this. Wow. Ah, uh, I personally do not. There's another change. I need to add that to the hidden changes. Uh, the Devastator pack. Personally, I don't like that they're giving out free fire weapons, but it did make, like, I mean, it's pretty easy to get fire weapons in PvP last time they did this. So if you're good at PvP and you want some fire weapons, especially if you have a team, you know, get together, go find that loner who's out, you know, in the team zone with a, a fire weapon, go kill him, take his stuff, and then you get some fire weapons and you don't have to do the forge for it. So... Okay, so now we've got a bunch of level two horses. So we're gonna start doing this with the level two horses. And this is where uh, this new breeding system, it's really important that you're gonna do what I just did. You can put all your level one horses into level two, and then you're gonna take all of your level two horses and four at a time and bring them to level three. If you saw my last breeding video, that is the most efficient way to do it. Once you get to three, things are gonna change quite a bit. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. A few more, hopefully some more wolves. That would be awesome. Um, but we don't need that many wolves. We just need, you know, one or two. Actually, we really just need one wolf. That's all you need. And um, all right, let's, let's try to get a few more. Okay, so we have just gotten a bunch of level three items, and obviously it's gonna take you a really long time to get this many level threes, but I'm just showing you guys how the numbers work. So when you go and you get, you know, a level three wolf, you're really, you're just gonna, if you get a level three horse, just keep it there, okay? Go for, 
we just keep as many as... So let's say we got this one first. Okay, it's not going to let me move it. But let's say I got all those horses first. I'm just going to keep... You know, I'll keep it. I don't try to upgrade. I don't ever use that level 3 horse. I just go for the next, you know, level 2 horses to try to get them to a wolf. Once I get a wolf, okay, once you have a wolf, then you can start the process of breeding. What you're going to do is you're going to take, well, you're going to look, in this case I have two wolves, so I'm going to I'm gonna look at both of them. Uh, but normally you just have one. And you can see here that I've got uh, support staff damage plus seven and I have crossbow damage plus seven and then here I have bonus damage to players plus seven and then bonus damage at sanctum uh, plus seven so um, there's a couple options here what what I can do is um, okay actually in this case I could go with the double wolves and I get it next and uh, and I, I since I Still, I'd love to get a black wolf if a black wolf even exists. I'm not 100% sure that it does, but we're going to hit next like that. Then we're going to click, let's say we want to go archer and damage against uh, players. So now that's going to be plus 14% damage to players if I'm an archer. That's a really good combination. Um, so let's go ahead and keep those perks. And... Um, and then when I go for the next wolf, I'm going to have the plus seven damage, the plus seven damage to players. And honestly, guys, this is what is nice about this new free to play update or this new update. It's a lot more free to play friendly. The, the buffs that wolves have are pretty much as good as the ones that the bears have. There are a few that the bears have that are just a little bit better, like the leap um, and the extra bonus defense is kind of nice but it's not a game changer. The plus 7% damage is a game changer. The 30% damage resistance coming right off here is a game changer. So all of the most important ones are also available to the wolf. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do this. But before I have that, I have that skill set up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click this. That way you can see how I would do this. So I would hit next, next, and then I'd hit the bow, okay? And that's it, because let's say I don't have another wolf. I just wanna get the perfect set of skills and I'm gonna pass it on using my wolf. So it's only a 15% chance of going up to a, you know, a level four, but I still am guaranteed to have a wolf. So exchange. Okay, so now I basically just reset that skill. So that's the damage resistance in, in rock and forest locations. It's a pretty good PVP zone area. Um, it's okay, but honestly, it's not as good as it could be. The ones you're really looking for is bonus to players. If you're going for a PVP wolf, which that, that would be my suggestion, obviously. Uh, and then your the weapon of choice, the one that you you have, whether that's your, you know, dagger, melee, combat, bow. So human hunter is the best one. Picking the weapon that you have is the next one, especially if you're a damage dealer. Those are the ones you want. You want those green ones because you want to do that plus 14% damage. Uh, that's going to be a game changer for you. And then after that, you're going to hopefully get one of these purple ones, either Guardian, um, if especially if you're a tank. That's the number one one you should want. Um, having the thick hide, I personally don't think it's really that worth it. I know that it does make the wolf a little bit you know, more resilient, but personally, uh, quick legs is pretty good for an archer. You get that extra movement speed, uh, especially if you get knocked off your horse or your wolf, you can shoot and then still outrange them, get away from them. Um, even if you knock off your horse, but you can start running towards them, you've got that five seconds of extra movement speed, really, you know, stick with them while you're waiting for your skills. Uh, the spell master, having your, your, skills recharge personally i don't think that's that great i mean 15 percent isn't an absolute game changer there are a few classes that i might change my mind on that um the fire mage maybe um you know being able to have that skill kind of recharge his skills a little bit faster get up to that five stacks maybe but honestly 15 percent just isn't that much of a game changer when you're talking about class skills because you're not using 
in a fight you're not usually using fi uh, a skill more than once uh, maybe twice in a fight so that 15 percent really doesn't make that big of a difference if we were using our skills you know 10 times in a fight then that 15 percent would be like oh that's two extra times in a fight but it's it's really not that much of a difference it you often won't even get the whole 15 percent bonus um for that so that's not really that big of a deal so really if you're a damage dealer you actually want the green skills it's just the same as the wolf as it is for the bear and then it and then if you're a tank you want that guardian which is available to the wolf and it it'd be nice to get that um that extra heavy defense bonus um but it's it's honestly it's just not as good as those other ones so you're really in my opinion what you need to do is if you're going even if you're not free to play definitely if you're free to play you need to do it this way but if you're not free to play or even if you're not free to play um this this thing right here what i'm doing right here where you're going to basically select this i'm i'm kind of rolling for that damage to players Okay, combat staff. Actually, I kind of want to com the combat staff more <laughs> uh, on this character. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch over to combat staff. And by clicking combat staff, it guarantees me a wolf. So I have a wolf, but I might get a different skin on that wolf. I might get a rare wolf. So I'm going to go again. And um, don't like that one. Now, some of you might be like, Oh man, but Forza, like, I really want to get that level four wolf because that level four wolf, you can see here, here, let me, you can see here that this level three wolf gives me five inventory, 30 resilience, 49 speed, 40% uh, traveling speed on the world map, exit location 30% faster. And the level four wolf gives me 40 resilience, 51 speed. 50% traveling on a world map. Uh, exit location, 40% faster. These are huge, you know, extra benefits to it. And I get that extra skill. And the reason why I would say that it, you don't want to try to push to get to a level four is because then when you start re-rolling skills, you are going to have to re-roll them with other level four animals. So that's like more than four times as much. So... Right now, I've got a level three animal here. And so I can put another level three animal that's that's less than 25% the cost as if I was trying to reroll skills at level four. And if I can lock in the, my two favorite skills that, you know, like that I want at level three, including guardian, hopefully, that would be the goal, um, which honestly, if you're really gunning for guardian, if you're like the tank of your team, then what I would do is hit select wolf, move here and just re-roll the skills over and over. You want both of your skills re-rolling every single time to try to get that guardian. Forget the extra damage. Um, in fact, that's what I'll do with this one. So now I'm just doing the double skills every time, but I'm making sure it stays a wolf. So it is going to be a wolf. I'm not going to get the new skin, but I don't care. I want to try to farm for the guardian skill. Okay. So I got a level four wolf, which is cool, but that's not really what I was wanting. <laughs> In this context, that is not what I was looking for. But um, yeah, that's actually kind of a bummer because... In this context, we're trying to go like the cheapest way to get the skills we want. And so getting that 15% is kind of lame. But but now, actually, what I could do is now I have this other wolf. And uh, and so I can put him in here. And I can put... Uh, basically, you're trying to get that guardian skill or the two damage skills. Whatever you're trying to go for, you need to do it at level 3. And so you're going to click wolf... You're going to keep it, you know, all random, and you're going to go boom. And didn't get the Guardian skill, which is lame. There might be a better chance of getting the Guardian skill at level 4, which would be really lame if that's true. But I don't know if that's true. 
Uh, I, there's no reason to believe that. Oh my gosh, another level four. Wow. I can't believe I just got level four with so many, just 15%. That is really, I'm either really lucky or the numbers are not reflecting the way they should. So, okay, well, while I'm here and uh, I kind of showed you guys what to do, I am going to go for a bear just because it's kind of addicting when you've got the, <laughs> when you've got the resources to do it. I do not recommend trying to go for the bear because it's kind of crazy, um, but it would be really fun to have a bear on this account. So this guy... I don't really care about him that much, but let me see. This guy is bonus damage to monsters. Okay, I really don't like him. And then this is, okay, both of these guys are lame. We're gonna <laughs> mix in two wolves. And no, 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 we want a bear. All right, we got a level four. This is dumb. Okay, but actually, before I do this, I want to show you guys. Okay, I want to show you guys this because I have a level 4 wolf, which has some pretty fast movement speed on the world map, and then he has this bonus. I've been really wanting to see what this looks like. This is great. I'm on the open beta test. I'm just testing and, and experimenting, but look at this. So we're going to go to Odin's run. Look how fast I'm going. This is double speed. This is twice as fast as it would take you if you were just walking. That was really fast. Okay, I love it. Okay, I forgot that I still have a ton of horses that I can be working with. So we're going to we're going to keep going for that bear. Okay, we got another wolf. Man, I feel like the chances of getting a wolf at level 3 is pretty high it makes me wonder if they increase the chances of getting a bear at level four obviously so far no luck but i'm really curious because it does kind of feel like look at this look at all these wolves so many wolves that's ridiculous okay so since we're here looking at these wolves we're gonna go ahead and go see if any of them got, gave us guardian nope and so we're just going to select wolf. We're going for the guardian. No. I mean, it's a super rare skill. But I'm really hoping we get it. I wonder what the... Okay, so the, you can see there's two different skins here. I don't know which one's more rare or not. They don't look really any different to me. All right. Nope, no guardian. Okay, I am going to keep this one. Because y'all can see it has the uh, human hunter. So if I ever want to make a damage dealer uh, wolf, then that's, that's the way to go for it. So, uh, But I am going to go ahead and put this guy in. And we're going for the bear. Nope. Okay, I'm having flashbacks from uh, the pay to win series when I ended up losing <laughs> all my wolves. And it was really sad, but since this is the open beta, I don't really care. Uh, I don't really play a whole mud, a lot except experimenting. And I still have a level 3 wolf, so we're going to go for it. Bear, hurry, please. No. Alright, I'm stuck with the, with the uh, riding horse again. You can see here that they did increase the movement speed of the riding horse. I'm going to ride it real quick. The movement speed of a wolf is 49 at level 3. And the movement speed of a riding horse is now 48 at level 4. So still, still not nearly what you want as a wolf. And that's why I would recommend that if you're playing this, even if you're not a free-to-play player, but you're not planning on spending like $1,000, that you should be going for that... Um, that you should not be going for a bear. You should just be getting, trying to get the perfect roll on a wolf. And then once you get that perfect roll, then you can move it up to level four. Um, but you can see here that we worked really hard to try to get Guardian, and it's just a rare drop. Um, and so 
I am curious though, and now that I've now that I've tested a little bit, if you guys ever get Guardian, please let me know if you ever find Guardian at level three, because I'm pretty sure it's available. I don't know why it wouldn't be available um, unless they, you know, have it locked for a certain slot. But if you ever get Guardian, please send me a screenshot on Discord. We're, you know, the research team will be looking out to try to find anyone who might, you know, have a, it, it may be that the, gar, the Guardian skill is only available for a level four perk. And if that is the case, then a damage dealer still wants to do what we were just talking about, where they get, you know, they look for human hunter and then they look for their, their skill, their bow their weapon so they can get that plus 14% and then move it up to a level four. That way they only have to reroll that one skill. It makes it cheaper to get that perfect combination of damage. But if it turns out that, you know, the guardian skill is only available for a level four wolf and a bear, then if that's the case, then we will have to, um, you know, then, then if you're a tank and I'll let you guys know, as soon as we find out, you know, we'll, we, we need a pretty big test sample. Obviously if we find anyone who's level three that has guardian, then that settles it, right? It just answers the question for us. But if we have to just find more and more level fours with it, we're going to have to need, we're going to probably need about like 10 level fours before we can really confirm that the level three does is not available to have guardian. So, We'll figure that out, um, but that's it for this. That's how to kind of breed horses in the new style, how to how to get a maxed out wolf with, with all the best skills for your class. And uh, I hope that helps. All right, guys, see you next time.